If men started hiding their nipples the way women did, do you think eventually women would be conditioned to start becoming sexually aroused at the sight of a man's breasts? Why or why not? We already cover our dicks, and women don't like to see those randomly. I think the problem is the weaponization of the unwelcome, surprise dick. Men will just weaponize their nipples. Imagine the locker rooms, guys will be hanging towels on their nipples and swinging them around. I imagine more of the machine gun nipples in Austin Powers, but I suppose the locker room violence will be bad also. Machine gun jubblies. How'd I miss those, baby? Victorian lady who shows ankle. Society, whore of Babylon. Thanks, looked for this before posting. If ankles were sexy back in the day because showing them off was taboo then pretty much anything can be sexualized. Did the same, just like hiding a safe hand it can become sexualized if it is always covered in public. Is this a Stormlight Archives reference in the wild? Women are already turned on by men's pecs. Even nipples for some. People are just turned on by the bodies of people they find attractive in general. Men aren't only attracted to women's breasts because it's taboo for them to be shown in public. I'm one of the nipple attracted women ha, huh? love to see and play with them, and seriously I sometimes watch the nipple show I get in summer. Would also be attracted to female nipples though so it would be nice if nobody had to wear a shirt. The place I live people fought for the right for women to go around topless for many years and then when they won literally nobody went shirtless and pretty sure people just forgot it's legal. Unfortunately, legal change social change. Yet still get the cops called on you, harassed, and potentially hurt if you went around topless as a woman, even if it's entirely legal where you live. It is where I am, and guess how many topless women I see on the streets despite it being 115 plus some days. Zero. People have to change their attitudes around breasts before women can go topless in public. Edit to fix whatever this was, and a small addition to illustrate my point. Reminds me of the guy who legally stripped in the airport when harassed by the TSA. OregonLive.com I just read through this very briefly so correct me if I'm wrong did he lose his job despite only being given a $500 fine. He got the fine lowered because he lost his job. Now introducing the bro guys are you tired of wearing shirts that reveal too much and doesn't give you any support? Well not anymore because we got the bro a cotton fiber, lightweight flex wire chest support. It's snug and will make you feel secure. Come into Brooks Brothers today our staff will measure your chest, back and shoulders to get you the perfect bro now when you see her in a bra you can show her your bro. I might be wrong but isn't a man's torso already one of the more visually stimulating things for women about men? Yes. Assuming you are referring to the cuts that a lean man's the torso makes around the toros and where the legs meet at the waistline. Did a quick search and it actually has a name the Adonis belt is the V-shaped muscle that runs diagonally from your hip bones to the pelvic region. My ex used to just call it the dick runway. One of my exes called them cum gutters. The more you know. They call them cum gutters in Rick and Morty ha ha ha. Dude is a woman, I love seeing a guy's chest. Well then let me tell you about my chest. It's made out of wood and I keep my linens in it. Go on. The suspense is killing me softly. Softer than those linens. Do women not like pecs? I'm a gay guy and most of us love the chest pecs. Women do in fact love pecs. I have no idea what op is on about lol. I mean, of course you'd get aroused if you saw Chris Hemsworth shirtless in front of you, but I don't think you would if some regular looking guy took off his shirt. Most straight men, however, would get at least a bit turned on by regular tits. Most straight men, however, would get at least a bit turned on by regular tits. They'd get turned on by a zit if it was in the right place. Whoa. That's some real shit. Guys be getting turned on to a ceiling titty if they're feeling right. Boob lights are the worst. You misspelled best. Yes. The breast light. Lol all the dudes saying no. 
My girlfriend gleefully exchanges pics of her boobs for pics of my pecs. Ask women what they like don't just assume. This is why you have a GF. Can confirm, there's a Kublu's GF sends the best boob pics. They are great and she does like to share. Sharing is caring. Yeah probably. But then they'd make laws about keeping your shirt on as a man and my brother, I am not down to hide my hairy titties. In many states it is legal for women to go in public without a top. Thanks for that knowledge up male stitties. Bold of you to assume my man's nipples don't sexually arouse me. Well now that you mention it that would be possible. On the other hand if women stop doing this man could possibly stop getting aroused at female breasts. The vast majority of humans are very horny creatures, and as an asexual I do not say that likely, so judging from what I've seen of most of humanity it wouldn't even take hiding them for women to become aroused at something like that. Some humans get aroused at parts of the body you wouldn't even think of and I bet you at least some of these spots are not covered up the majority of the time. So answer TL doctor answer, probably wouldn't change too much. I have two friends with fetishes as well, one a hand fetish and one a clothing fetish. Neither are particularly hidden from public. I suppose it varies from person to person but humans have a way to sexualize set boundaries on what body parts or other are attractive versus unattractive. Is the guy with a hand fetish some sort of serial killer? Just asking. He just had a face transplant recently as a matter of fact. Sounds completely reasonable and non-suspicious. Just living a quiet life, you know? A real stand-up but not stand-out 9 to 5 worker drone. Most guys answering this question are or teens or people who have never talked to a girl. Women's already get aroused by chests, it's nothing new. Uh. No offense, but I think many women already are if you happen to be hitting the gym on a regular basis. I think op want men to wear bras or pec holsters, patent pending. Um, what makes you think they aren't already? I got big fat man titties. I try to keep them covered. Unleashing them does not arouse the wife. What the duck? People aren't aroused by breasts just because of nipples. What a terrible life it would be if I only enjoyed fully naked tits. It depends on the context of why they start covering their nipples. I.e. if you show them off, you're a slut. Kind of context. It would take a long time for people to start getting aroused at the sight of them, basically a whole force of people and media would have to agree that men's nipples were sexual and push a campaign on it. This is actually a great question. I would say no. I'm not a man but personally I think the curves of breasts are the most attractive the nipples just happen to be there. So men hiding their nipples wouldn't do anything for me. I have a tattoo on my chest that stays mostly hidden but when it peeks out when I wear a tank top my girlfriend says that it turns her on. You guys are getting breasts? Yes. Dot, it could give them the feeling that is now kind of normal or kind of unnatural and that could make it pleasurable and desired. Most definitely, just like armpit hair is extremely erotic. How high are you? That's a no from me dog. As a bisexual lady, I find men's nipples and chests pretty sexy too. Some would always find them sexy. Women's however are sexier. Women are already aroused by the sight of a man's chest. But it's not taboo so they don't make a big deal about it. I already get aroused seeing a man's nipples breast. Implying my man boobs don't already make the ladies swoon uncontrollably. What's your angle? Who's the mark?